All right, so I have played only Siege on PC, so I don't really know the metas for your for console or anything. I don't know. It's going to be roughly the same. It's going to be slightly different here and there. Some operators are going to be more viable than others. Some guns will be, et cetera, et cetera. So take that with a grain of salt with this. Um, I never played on console ever. I don't even own a controller at the moment. Let's go into it. We need to locate a and I'm a little stuffed up for the valley this day. So, bank first defense, they're probably going to be downstairs, so if it were me, I would just take my drone and put it in open area, because then we don't need to worry about losing it. Uh, you're putting it up here, I don't know if you're looking for the spawn gate, I don't know, okay, keep going. And it is downstairs more than likely. Yep. So we lost our drone for no reason whatsoever. We go back here. Once we find out that it's these guys and where they are, we can just take our drone out and then we don't have to worry about losing it at all. And we see the pest right in front of us, but we just don't do anything about it. We just give Mozzie free information that way and we lose value out of our drone immediately. So it was a very, very poor play on your part. We knew where they were. Um, you could probably guess where they are going to be you before you even start, because it's banked and, and they're going to be downstairs right away. We're just going to go in with Garu, and not the Garu hook, it's going to be the Amaru. We do shoot the default cam, which is great. Probably should have caught the default cam that's sitting outside. Good thing in opening that hatch, it forces people to be a little more uncomfortable who are sitting down there. Alright, so right there with that line scan, I probably would have just dropped down and gone behind the server racks because they can't move. So you get free pre fire right with the line scan and you don't have to worry about losing anything from yourself. The odds of you winning with a line scan are drastically higher than if you did not have it. Good job on opening that, that hatch. It's a good one to open. And it looks like none of the hatches are reinforced. But then smoke comes up and blasts us back. So who died? Because smoke killed someone. He killed someone on main lobby. We didn't really react to it, and then he just walks up and kills us. Our teammates should have probably called it out for us. Um, I don't think that you guys actually have team chat in console, so it's near impossible unless you're in a group. Uh, so that's more on you for not paying attention and knowing that someone just died right next to you, you should probably look for it. Activated. <coughs> Excuse me. Lion still has two scans left and doesn't look like he's thinking of using them. Alright, whatever you do, if you ever play Lion, don't play like this guy where he uses a Lion skin and he just doesn't do anything. It's better to do push up and take ground and possibly free fire. Free firing literally any angle when you have a Lion skin going up. Because that can benefit you greatly. Again, they can't move. If they move, they're spotted. If they're spotted, it just makes your life easier. Down to one friendly. And it looks like at this point it's just reaction time. Apparently she did get him, okay. Yeah, she got him, so she traded out. But, I believe those were the last two alive, weren't they? Yeah, but, they, oh, you did win. You should not have won that. Good job, Ubisoft. You guys had not planted the diffuser, so you should have realistically lost that because there's a trade. I don't know how you guys won that, because you didn't have the, ban uh, the bomb planted, so... That's just Ubisoft for you, I guess. They supposedly fixed that, but I guess not.
And okay, we're gonna go Thermite, which is good. They're probably gonna go either Archives or CEO. Either one. Any of the other sites for uh, Bank in particular is great for Thermite. You should ideally have a Thermite every time you attack a site on Bank. Ideally. I, you don't have to, but he is very, very good on this map. We need to locate a bomb. It's not so much site dependent for him as it is for other maps. And again, we're just looking to walk in, find out where they are, and get out. And we know that they're in the CEO, so we should just take our drone out. And we're not taking our drone out. There we go. Looks like we're gonna put it in a little cheeky spot up there. Nope. There we go. I would recommend for this though is to not have it up in here because any time that i'm in this room personally i check that and the other rack that's over on the side there i would recommend just taking it out and putting it on the balcony on the other side because you're gonna have to drone out the hallway anyway all right you can't enter in uh the door that's over on this side uh without droning out the hallway that runs all along this back room here uh so Either way, you're going to have to take your drone out of this room, so you might as well have it starting out there anyway. Less chance for it to be destroyed by anyone, or get jammed, or a mute pest, or not a mute pest, a monster pest. Seconds. Five seconds. And it also looks like they're peaking pretty heavy, but we didn't spawn over there. I recommend not having a suppressor on pretty much any guns. It's really no reason to have it on there. The only reason you would have it on is for meme value, and that's when you're trying to be funny about it, but no real need for it. Doesn't do anything good for you, unless you are very, very confident in your ability to not be seen by someone, in your ability to kill people. And even then, it's only good when you have a team that's uncoordinated, not talking. Otherwise, once the first person dies, you're just going to tell them where they are. Not a bad claymore, it deters people from going over there, but they can just walk past it. And they can shoot it very easily. Not the best claymore in the world, but at the very least, it narrows down where they can peek you from. So instead of pre-firing hard on the angle, you can pre-fire a little bit more to the side. Or a little wider, I should say. Alright. Good kill on the Ella. You heard her. You reacted to her. Probably a no-no on our part, because if we had died there, that'd be entirely our fault. Good we grabbed the diffuser, and we either need to go directly into site and get ready to plant, but I would have advised against that, because we know our teammate just died in site, so he's probably watching that angle. Uh, so, probably not good for us to do that. So, instead of turning around and walking it this way forward, we should be looking towards where he, our teammate died and making sure that he isn't going to peek us like what he just did to you. Like that. Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, yep, plant right behind the bottom, that's great. <coughs> and we heard him moving up, but didn't quite know where he was. In that situation, you did have your other drone, so it would not have been a bad idea to just go all the way outside. Like, here. It wouldn't have been a bad idea to just go all the way out by this door here, go outside, and just start droning him out. Figure out where he is, and then go in. You can put your drone somewhere, and since this is console and people probably aren't talking, they'll probably just scan on it instead of telling you where he is, which kind of sucks, but... It'll irritate him, he may not know where it is, may not be able to shoot it, and you can just keep on going. And it looks like there's a drone on the desk, but no one was watching it.
and we're going Amaru again. Keeping in mind with Amaru, the biggest thing that you want to do with her and her strengths really rely on map knowledge and being able to get kills. She brings less utility than Ash, surprisingly. Ash has actual utility that she can use. Her gadget and utility is simply her flashes. It's flashes and a claymore, if I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, flashes and a claymore. That's all her utility really is, which isn't much. Her utility, her strengths come in late round when you're coming at the end of the round and being able to reposition very, very, very quickly because then I can throw off defenders. If you can throw them off and surprise them as to where you are, then that could give you an upper hand in a fight. So she can get into, or she can take site control or uh, room control like console admin. If no one's in there, you have a prep drone in there, then you can figure out, okay, there's no one in here. I can just yeet into there and then not have to worry about anything. She's good at quick, very, very quick map control and surprising defenders by late rotations that are fast. And we know where they are. I don't know why we're still in here. We're just scanning people for no reason whatsoever. We have our drone in one of the worst possible places because not only could they shoot it, but they could use a mozzie pest and take control of our drone. And now we all of a sudden don't have a drone. Five seconds to insertion. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Good job on getting default cam. Trying something new. Good job on getting up there quickly. It sounded like someone just broke open open area window. So that's very good that you got up there quickly. Alright, we saw him go to the right, so we know he's to the right. Don't really react to he's on the left. And we're just gonna get out of there as quickly as we can. Not a bad call. See, now we're just kind of staring at the skylight trying to figure out, we're face checking it, when we could just take our drone, throw it down there and find out where they are and waste a lot less time. So we got our lucky kill on the bandit last time we were on here. And it looks like now it's only you. We're gonna drop all the way down, try and surprise him by coming upstairs. Someone did a nice recoil pattern on the wall Enemy for us. <laughs> Good job on getting the diffuser and then just leaving. Uh, you don't have to push right there just because your teammates were. We got 30 seconds of droning. It's good. We're trying to get some last minute information. And we lost it. And they're looking at you on the default cam. And we died. A lot of that time was wasted simply because we weren't droning at the very beginning. Because we could have just figured out where they are and avoided the people that we wanted to avoid or take the gunfights for people that we knew we could take. Uh, a lot of that time was just spent face checking Skylight and face checking uh, upstairs office. Not much that we really did that round. And then we're going to go Caviero on a CEO defense. I would advise against this because if you look at CEO, not only is it on the second floor, but if you're, you can't sit anywhere in sight without having to look at garage and having these windows 
excuse me, to your side that are exposing you. There's nowhere on the second floor really that you can go without being exposed to a long range gad or gun and having an attacker with an ACOG spot you. And Cav just is not the best operator for that. For these sites, almost always you want to have at least a, someone with an ACOG, essentially. At least one person with an ACOG on your team so that you can effectively challenge those long angles. And a Caviar is definitely not one of the best choices for this. Not even with the M12 if you have it. I would hope that you had the shotgun because that is more effective. And go, you do have the shotgun. I also recommend putting a laser sight on it. <coughs> <coughs> I recommend putting a laser sight on it. A lot of people say that you shouldn't have a laser sight on Vigil or Cav. Only one of those is true. You shouldn't have a laser sight on Vigil because his gadget can literally, sh uh, his laser sight can shine onto a drone and you can see an invisible uh, laser sight staring right at you without seeing a person and that can actually get in the way. Whereas Cav, if you play right and you play smart, having a uh, laser sight on a shotgun can be very, very helpful. And it ups her distance for that shotgun from almost point blank. On PC this is, I don't know how good it is on console, but it makes it go from point blank to across the room. You could take someone down fairly easily with that shotgun. I'm gonna start up by waiting for someone to rush in here. Not a bad idea. I don't like that we're just standing here in the middle, on ADS, just waiting. Now we're giving that up, which is good. At 30 seconds into the round, no one's Enemy probably going to go in there. We got Ash outside. I would probably have called that instead of ping here. If you call it out instead of pinging, that gives them more information, and you're probably going to keep that. This is where we impact that thermite charge, impact the thermite charge so they can't open it. We're going to get an interrogation instead. All right, we're looking for where they are, looking for where they are, and then going for them. I would have just... Right there, I would have just kept going. Because Lion, since he's nerfed, they don't outline the entire body now. So you can just walk through, and you don't have to worry about them instantly headshotting you when you turn a corner. You have better wall hacks than them, and yours is still going for another four or five seconds. So your information is going to be more worthwhile than theirs. So I would have pushed that regardless. And it looks like she is on main stairs. So, yeah. The Lion scan would have ended exactly when... Uh, your interrogation would have ended. So the information would have been the same, but yours is drastically better. And it doesn't look like they even cared about you. Good job on stopping the plant. And we didn't kill the ash there. And we had a revolver line behind us that if you had played downstairs in basement the cab pick could have been more useful to you uh she can weed out people a lot easier and the main thing you want to do with caviera is when you get an interrogation you want to chain that interrogation so you want to get go one after the other with it you don't want to get one and then let them do whatever they want because your team is going to be aggressive and they know that so they'll just start pre-firing you and if you allow them to get the best of your team, then you're worthless for your interrogation at that point. You need to be able to chain it so you keep the pressure on them. Each interrogation lasts 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds to kill someone and down or down someone and interrogate, or for your teammates to just kill them all. Secure the area, keep the bombs protected. And we're gonna go Mira. Let's see if we know the Mira setup for basement. Good. Looks like we do. Sweet, got a 
I don't know exactly what we're doing here. Looks like we're trying to open up the entire wall. I would recommend, if it were me, when I play Mirror on this site, I just open up this small little hole right here. So that way it forces you to crouch through it. Your team, that's going to be useful for you guys to be able to crouch through. If someone's watching in Garage and watching that rotation, you're not going to rotate through there, even if you can run through it. So I would recommend not doing, or I'd recommend just doing the small little hole that you can only crouch through, because then it forces the attackers to crouch through it. That's the main thing, is you don't want them to catch you by surprise and be able to just yeet through and run through and kill you guys. It'll make it difficult for you, but it'll be more difficult and more annoying for them. This mirror <clears throat> excuse me, isn't very good for two reasons. One, yeah, let it play out. So, for one, it's a crouching mirror, so not only is it... or Actually, for one, it's staring at nothing. There's nothing of use over here. If they get the hatch, you're going to hear it through the window on the side here. You don't need to know that they got the hatch that way. You can just audibly hear it, and then you can hear for the drop, listen for the drop, too. Uh, for the this last mirror, the best place to put it would be garage. So you have your... This is the ramp in the garage, and then this is the stairs. Then you have one wall over here. It's kind of an L... And then you have a doorway and a wall right here. I would put the mirror window on this wall right here. And then that just stops them from pushing up the ramp and the stairs. At the very least, it stops them from doing that. Or to give your teammates a huge advantage in knowing where they are. The only downside to that mirror is that main stairs, they can shoot you from it. So you have to have someone watching main stairs. But this mirror is kind of a waste. Because no one's going to be able to really use that for anything. Not a bad idea to barricade that off. What we should have also done is instead of trying to open up this entire wall, we should have opened up the top half of this wall so that one, we can throw C4s over there so that they can stop, so you can stop a plant, and so that we can vault over it if we need to play aggressive. If the, we don't have any, any C4s, we don't have any way to counter the plant, we can jump over and just start killing them. Those are very, very desperate moments, but you do need that option there for yourself. Magazine. Yep, there you go. Ash is broken open. We do have one reinforcement that we could have used to stop that. And now they have free reign over our mirror. And now we're completely useless. Our entire setup is worthless because of that one Ash charge destroying that wall that we could have reinforced and put a mirror window on. And they have full sight control, only one person died in that fray, that whole firefight. That was just a mess at the end, to be completely honest. That was just very, very messy and sloppy on their part. They could have... I think they did plan from the end. But... Yeah... <coughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to... For this, I would say to... Drone more on attack, because you don't seem like you know where you're going at the time, and you aren't... You're taking engagements with people that you may or may not know is there. Uh, droning will help solve that. Another thing that you can do... Um, by yourself is just setting up so that you protect yourself. Like, you could have protected yourself in that last round because Ash blew open this wall over here. Why is that so big? Ash blew open the wall over here, which you could have reinforced and put a mirror window on. Even if no one's watching it, they don't know if no one's watching it. They have to drone that out. So at the very least, it stops them and forces them to waste time to figure that out. So it saves your butt and you can figure that out more. They didn't have a twitch that in last round and i don't think they had one even before so you don't really have to worry about that um this mirror window was not the play it was very 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 bad uh it served no use whatsoever and again you could have saved your life by putting it right there and that's pretty much it that all i have for you